Hey everybody, Jacob Scooters Lawn Care. Um, today I want to make a video, and I don't know if it's exactly what um, what he was meaning, but um, I want to make a video on working with your competition, working with them instead of you know working against them like they are comp only competition. Um, this is important. You know, you can learn a lot from your competition. Yes, there's some you're not going to work with because not everybody is your competition. Uh, the guy underbidding everything, not charging enough, got in this for beer money, is not your competition, okay? It might be aggravating that he does that, but really, in the long run, he's only helping you out. They're upsetting customers, showing, showing customers how unprofessional you can be. Uh, and you're going to go in and you're going to show them how professional you can be. So, not your competition. But, so working with your competition. You know, finding some of these other guys in town that you can network with. Um, you know, we've got competition that sells hardscape supply here. And, and rock and a lot of other stuff we buy. Because they put in hardscapes and they do landscaping. And me and him are really close. We, you know, I walked in yesterday, me and the owner talked for 45 minutes kind of about what's going on in Springfield right now. A um, couple other lawn care companies we talk with fairly closely and know what's going on with them, share ideas, get together, have lunches, and, uh, you know, really just try to uh, try to help each other. Um, in Florida, another couple lawn care companies, you know, at least one so far that I've sat down and had lunch with, um, just kind of laid out what's going on in that area, what to be expected. And you can network with people like this. You know, smart, intelligent business owners are not going to look at it like, whoa, dude, don't talk to me. You're my competition. Someone that is kind of evolved a little past that understands that networking is a, is a very big thing. It is, um, it is crucial to be able to use, not, not use, wrong word, sorry. It is crucial to be able to meet and get with the people around you in your industry, open your ears to what's going on, share ideas. Um, we're better together than we are apart. And most likely, you'll find that there's things that these other services or companies, some of them will do everything the same as you. But some of them, you'll be able to pick up some of their work that they don't do. And then you'll be able to, uh, you'll be able to also help them out. <coughs> You will also be able to help them out by giving them referrals. So this is why we think it's really important to work with people, work with your competition, not against them. And I can't remember the, the name of the guy that kind of asked about this. Um, I hope this answers your question. That's how we do it. Um, you know, even the other guy that I was supposed to meet with in Florida, we got pushed out because of the hurricane, somebody I met on lawn site. He was asking about... Um, scheduling software, which I'm a huge, huge proponent for using Service Autopilot. It's amazing. I mean, a lot of stuff's fine. By the way, right now, um, Dirt Monkey University has a 10% discount on Jobber if you are a Dirt Monkey University member. And I know that you already get uh, a month free demo. Uh, when you first sign up. So everybody, I hope this is, uh, I hope this has been helpful. Kind of tell you how we work with others in the lawn and landscape community. Um, if you have any questions, any, any thoughts, any, any ideas on how you work with them, because like I said, I don't know it all. Everybody, we're better together than we are apart. Let's share some of this. Uh, please like subscribe. Have a great weekend guys. Bye.